Robin, your daughter, Dylan and Sean, they were in a movie in 2021. So I feel like this is just a family affair. Uh, I believe it was Flag Day. And then Dylan and Hopper uh, in a movie, Signs of Love together last year. So I'm seeing some constant collaboration here between this family. Uh, I'm curious, someday will we see a movie with all four of y'all together? What you thinking, Robin? Oh my God, wouldn't that be amazing? You know what I was thinking, Hopper? Just seeing this trajectory that you just laid out, you know, where it just was happenstance. None of this was planned. Crazy. And they did their own things together. And John Cassavetes, Jenna Rollins, and then Nick Cassavetes, their son, was a director. You know, I was like, this, this is a family unit. Yeah. We've always been a unit. And I think... I hope that we'll always work together, one of us with the other, or three of us or four. Wouldn't it be amazing? Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> is Hopper shaking his head over there? What is he saying? <laughs> no, I love working with my mom, but it's just I don't. I like. I want to do my own thing. Like I, I've done oh, every movie I've course. done with a family member. I want to get your take on this because in 2022, we saw this phrase um, about the children of famous people kind of circulating, right? And I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. It's the, uh, the, the phrase, the Nepo babies. I want to get your thoughts on this concept, Hopper. I mean, nepotism... Like, okay, I will say, like, I didn't have to audition for, my, for the first movie I did with my dad. That can be a form of it but i wasn't treated any differently like i didn't get benefits like he was the same nightmare to work with that everybody had to work with he, a, a great nightmare he's just very on top of things um but i was never treated differently and then i heard the whole thing about nepotism with uh destry spielberg i did a short film with her and owen king stephen king's son wrote it and the the tag was just like like a whole movie of nepotism um and honestly it it doesn't affect me because i'm like if you like it cool if you don't great and if you think that there's nepotism going on i don't i really don't care who thinks that because i'm gonna do the work just as professional as everybody else the best that I can and I'm not going to come there and do it half-assed because like I'm working with my dad I'm working with my mom or I'm not going to wake up late because like my mom is directing and oh I could be there late like nepotism is so the wrong word for what this is this is just a business that luckily for me and not like a lot of actors it was able to kind of just fall into my lap I was given the opportunity with almost like no preparation, you know, it was great. I'm very lucky to have that, but I don't think it's nepotism. I mean, if I messed up on the first day, I'd be fired just like everyone else. Or if I was terrible, I'll be terrible. Robin, anything to add on to that statement of um, the idea of Nepo babies? I mean, it is the nature of the beast, you know? It's, they get your gene. And when they get your gene and it works, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah. And like Hop said, you're, you're treated the same as everybody else. You're not, you know, given some kind of seniority. And really and truly, you're still responding to the material as any actor would. Like, I really wanted to play that part. And the parts that Dylan and Hopper have gotten, they've been great parts to play. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure even with, Yes, exactly. So you're, you're responding to the material no matter what. If, if I was to offer Hopper a movie and there was nothing for him to do, he would have no problem saying, there's nothing for me to do. I don't want to do this. I'd say, you're right. We'll get somebody else. So mm. it is a business. That never changes. It's just... A, a different emotional value because you know each other so well. One of my last questions for you, and Robin, uh, seriously, if you feel comfortable sharing, please do. If not, then be like, move on. Um, but I know a couple of weeks ago, you were actually seen out with your ex-husband, Sean, for the first time in like six years from what reports say. Um, where do you all stand today? And why do you feel like it's so important to have that relationship with him? To, to be friends with the father of your children. I mean, it's, it's a gift because we know 
divorce with children is one of the most difficult things in life. And when you become estranged and become friends again, I mean, we were going to an event for our children. And it's always gonna be a unit that way. We're always gonna be family, whether we're together or apart, you know? And I think that's beautiful. And I, I wish that for everybody. Yeah.